You are gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you were just ready to do it, huh? You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just gonna stand here and let that happen? Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <sighs> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's spoke into my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. <laughs> you people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. <laughs> so will they even negotiate with him? I mean, if they rob their own sheriff, that can't be a good omen. Not sure Dante even knows it's them. Once he finds out... He might not want to negotiate either. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah. I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not gonna put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense. But I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe? Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cover. 
cough. On three. One, two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Oh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but God, the thing she's seen today. Oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. What else? You're good. Keep going. Look, uh, my dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress, They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open. Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? I told them what's happening here. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a no, dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You could stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you. Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. Probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. 
Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Lifetime ago now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? And you know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Strong Vince, step away from the chocolate. All right, on the home stretch now. This is done. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mary gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you going to put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. <sighs> hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? To be honest, I kind of fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. 
Which is why I made chocolate pudding. Ta da! Vincent Walker. <laughs> you know how to twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So... How are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like... What? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Love you, all the way to the moon. I want mommy. <sighs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? the manual transfer switch. Go do it. Hey. Hey! I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <sighs> Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. <sighs> They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet, let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin, it's Daddy. Because I don't know what else. 
Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. I am too, Pumpkin. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... Before the lights come back on. Okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Uh, are you hurt? No. Are you? Down. Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Oh. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh. hurt? I don't know, honey. Jim, are you okay? Dad! He needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance! He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something... Shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... this is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends... Hey, are you with us?
Jim, uh, do you know where we are right now? Arizona. Sam Bluff Motel. No, it's called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought it. I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to, to get my Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? Trying to get Zoe to go to sleep? Yep, top of the list. <laughs> anyway, tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know, mm. so how about we make it one to remember? Oh, by the way, you got a message, something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? You want to tell me who Bruce is? <sighs> Jesus, Vince. Some things are private. It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce? Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. 
Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. You never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? <sighs> Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. All right, then give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No. Of course not. So what's the problem? What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. Why him, Michelle? You wanted someone smarter than me? Is that it? Oh, no, no. It's not that. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. And he was... I don't know. He was there. Has he been here? In our apartment? Did the two of you... No. No, of course not. So where, then? Does it really matter? I just want to know. It was his place. Always at his place. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was.
L listen to what you're saying. It's... What? Disgusting? Is that why you never want to sleep with me anymore? That doesn't... So you think that gives you what? Some kind of uh, moral high ground? You were lying this whole time. Like how you lied to me for three months about looking for a job? I wasn't lying. I couldn't find one. No. I had to find one for you. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job, this wall went up. You pretend everything's fine, that you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? How dare you turn this back on me? I'm just trying to make you understand. Look, I know you're hurt and angry, but I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one night stand. Maybe I'll take you up on that. Go for it. If it means we can put this behind... Didn't say that now, did I? Vince. I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless. But it happened, alright? If I could take it back, I would. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? Oh, God, Michelle. What a fucking mess. I don't even know what else to say. Can you ever forgive me? I'm sorry. But I can't pretend this didn't happen. Maybe Bruce could. Not me. Vince. Think what you're saying. Think about Zoe. There has to be a way. I don't think there is. What about Missouri? I don't know. I guess we'll work something out once we're there. I need to lie down. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries bad enough on their own, but if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You wanna get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm, uh, well, uh, There's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Owl. 
owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? <sighs> I don't know, Pumpkin. Some things grown-ups can control, and some things we just can't. What if you don't know? Why did you leave him inside? Because nothing is more important to us than you. That's far enough! I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. <laughs> Best if we make this quick. Be brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? Mommy will always be there to take care of you. But what if she gets hurt too? She won't, Pumpkin. I promise you. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pete's ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. <sighs> I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Vince. Is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll tell you something I learned early on in life. Never trust a cop. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. 
What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Come on, man, just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. <laughs> Why should I, huh? Isn't it worth a few slices to shut everyone up? If I wanted to shut them up, I'd just fucking do it. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. But what you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. No Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. It's it. not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Breaking a few rules isn't the problem. It's your face. Hey, look who's talking, fat ass. All right, you win. <laughs> well, anyway, enjoy the pizza. Wait up. Just tell him I stopped complaining. And hey, about your old man, you know I didn't mean to hit him so hard, right? He just ran and I... Sure. Whatever you say. Well, I'll be damned. Thanks for backing me up just then. Hmm. No problem. Make sure you save me a slice. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. 
You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight? It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! Damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. They're never gonna let you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. Come on. Please make it back. Guess who? Dale fucking Holt. <laughs> you were the ones in my house. Yep. Nice place you got there, asshole. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. on the fucking water tower. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince! It's okay. I'm all right. Oh. 